Hi, and welcome to AFTV. I've got lead judges with me. Got there in the end, 3-2. It was quite comfortable until, you know, that second goal. Was it squeaky bum time for you, or do you thought we had, was comfortable throughout? Uh, in the bag, wasn't it? In the bag. Yeah. Like, no, honestly, like I was saying, just before they scored, I said this is probably the most comfortable it's been at, at, at Vickery's Road for a long while. I thought yeah. we played really, really well today. Apart from the last five minutes, I think the substitutes, I think the substitutes today were a, a message of, like, we've won this game, so... Um, and I think that, that sort of pulled traits of the players. But ultimately, look, listen, we, I thought we played some sensational stuff in that foot. But for, for, for about 70 minutes, I thought we was brilliant. Mm. I know, look, you can say that, well, it's Watford and whatever, but they're, they're, a, they're a decent side, got some decent players. I thought we played really, really well today. Mm. I heard you, like, you and Rob talking about cojones in this Arsenal side all week. Let's talk about what you saw from Arsenal in the sense of the time wasting that we were doing. It's nice to see the Arsenal boys, you know, adapted to what, you know, it happens to us every week. Teams trying to waste time and run the clock down, but we got, we done it today. Listen, I love that. You've got to have that in, in the thing. There's, there's, there's always, um, you know, ways of winning games of football. You can't always be pretty. Sometimes you've got to be dogged, digging, yep. and other times you've got to be a little bit nasty. And I think today, I don't think we was nasty today. We just done, you know, like the, a few of the, the nasty things that you have to do in yeah, football. Dark a bit arts. of yeah. dark arts, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? I'll tell you what we've done well today, the dirty the dirty stuff, the hard work, chasing back and all that. We've done that really, really well today. On top of that was some, some good performances. And, and But I think, you know, yeah, I like to see that with the Arsenal. Yeah. It's about time. All right, give me a word on Cedric Lee, because you said, I heard you this week as well saying that, you know, even if Tommy Asu was fit, I'd still start Cedric. He, him today was Saka, superb. Yeah, no, I thought they was brilliant. I yeah. thought, you know, the, the, the danger of Watford had was down on our left-hand side, which was supposed to be our strongest. Mm. But Cedric, look, his, his last four games has been brilliant for us. Yeah. You know, you, you ask a player to come in and do a job, and he's come in and done a job really, really well. And at this moment in time, yeah, what the good thing about it is you ain't got to rush Tommy Assel back. You know, when he's fit, Tommy comes in. But at this moment in time, you know, have, have we missed him? No, and that's nothing against him. That's yeah, because yeah. Cedric's played really well. I thought he played well again today. Quick throw today for the Martinelli goal. Yeah. Great crossing. Lovely little touch from Lacazette. Fantastic finish. So he's, he's helped. He's done well with his defending and he's assisted with a goal. So what more can he do today? Yeah, full spot, Lee. Ours to lose now after a result like that and Ooh. what the te other teams are doing. Listen, we're in a position now where we were six with games in hand. We're now fourth with games in hand. I know what I'd rather be, fourth with games in hand. We're in a good position at this moment in time. And this is what we've also said, you know, got to win these games at Watford, got to beat the, the Brentfords, got to beat, uh, you know, the Wolves. Mm. And we've done that. There are teams mm. that I, you know, if you're going to get top four, you've got to beat. And we've gone and done that. We've got to now go and do it next week against Leicester. But we've got a nice few days off and then we go again. But, you know, I, I, I've got to say today, I, I enjoyed the performance today. Yeah. I enjoyed the way we played and knocked about. Ulegaard, by the way, was oh, sensational. Quality. Absolutely fantastic. I know a few people didn't rate him for a little while, like, you know, someone on my right, but never mind. <laughs> but, uh, but, wait, uh, me? No, 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 just a bit further. Oh, back, further. Like, I was going to say, no, oh, I'm rough rated on a good But, like, he's, he's, he's <laughs> starting now to really <laughs> show his potential and all that. Like, great goal, by the way. Finished yeah. that really well. Saka's goal was fantastic. I thought yeah. Saka today. I've got to say that was a joy. Just just to sit there and watch him watch him play at times was was fantastic. But Ulegaard really really playing well. And a big up to Lacazette today. I thought you know um, people were in the crowd just starting to get on his back a little bit at first, and then yeah. he produced you know a tackle, produced the first goal, worked really right. Because he is still missing some big opportunities. There was one when he's one on one and he passed it Ulegaard, and then he got it back, and he should have yeah, should have yeah. really hit the target. He went completely wide. Like he's still going to be criticised for not maybe being a you know a natural well, finisher. Exactly. That's going to come. That's going to come and all him at the moment until he starts scoring goals but he is contributing now if you can't score goals what you've got to do as a forward is contribute in other areas that's what he's doing he's yeah. not just a goal scorer sometimes you get a goal scorer if he doesn't score he doesn't contribute he does it in other areas as well but it would be nice for him to get on the score sheet what was important <laughs> today though in my opinion was Martinelli getting on the score sheet because I thought Martinelli if I, not saying he's lacking in confidence, but you could see that his performances needed a goal. He's got that. It just takes a little bit of pressure off him now. He's scored as well, and a sensational goal it was as well. All right, let's end with favourite of the three goals today for you, Denley. Martinelli. Yeah, I thought it was great. I thought, like, I thought Saka's goal was a great finish. Ulu goal. As it happens, we scored three. It's really, nice really to good be able goals. to, you know, pick yeah. between goals. Like yeah. it's been a while. We've been, yeah. been winning one nils or two ones. No, no, no scrappy goals. Those all really, really good goals. But for me, I thought Martinelli's finish at the end in front of the fans as well, and they all come over. I'm taking Martinelli's.